Yes, the answer is that the Holy Spirit is never a third person in Scripture. And even in 325 at the Council of uh, Nicaea, they declared that they believed in the Holy Spirit. They weren't willing to say more than that. They didn't say it was a third person. Here's why. The Holy Spirit never offers any prayers, is never prayed to, never sends any greeting. So the Spirit is the Spirit of God or the Spirit of Jesus. Let me ask you, is your spirit a person different from you? The answer is no. It's not a different person from God. Isn't that amazing? But God and Jesus, of course, are worshipped, one as the Messiah and one as true God. But the Holy Spirit is not. So I would say the third person is not a third person. It just doesn't exist. Now, the Spirit is very personal. Why? Because it's coming from either God, who is a person, or Jesus, who is a person. My Spirit is coming to you now via the words that I speak. That's not a different person. So the whole notion of a third person is simply an invention. You don't need that. It's too complicated and difficult. Why not call the Spirit the operational presence and power of God or Jesus, indistinguishably, I think, in various forms, either by a miracle by words being inspired in your mind, by doing a miracle, whatever it is, various forms of activity, but it's the operational presence and power of God or Jesus, not a third person. Not throne, uh, I believe the end of the whole revelation, biblical revelation has two thrones yes. at the end. You see, much of what we're saying here is well known in Bible dictionaries, well known in top commentaries, but most of the public are not having access to these things. Thank you.